Safari is a web browser. The web browser was released on January 7, 2003, and to this day, the web browser is still alive and healthy. So, how did it become so popular? Let's find out. Background. Netscape Navigator rapidly became the dominant Mac browser after its 1994 release, and eventually came bundled with Mac OS. In 1996, Microsoft released Internet Explorer for Mac, and Apple released the CyberDog Internet Suite, which included a web browser. In 1997, Apple shelved CyberDog and reached a five-year agreement with Microsoft to make the IE the default browser on the Mac, starting with Mac OS 8.1. Netscape continued to be pre-installed on all Macintoshes. Microsoft continued to update IE for Mac, which was ported to Mac OS X to DP4 in May 2000. Conception during development, several code names were used, were used, including Freedom, Eyebrows, and Alexander, a reference to Conqueror, Alexander the Great, a homepage to Conqueror web browser, Safari 1. On January 7, 2003, at Macworld San Francisco, Apple CEO Steve Jobs announced Safari that was based on WebKit, the company's internal fork of the, of the KHTML browser engine. Apple released the first beta version exclusively on Mac OS X the same day. Later that date, several official and unofficial beta versions followed until version 1.0 was released on June 23, 2003. On Mac OS X version 10.3, Safari was pre-installed as the system's default browser, rather than requiring a manual download, as was the case with the previous Mac OS X versions. Safari's predecessor, the Internet Explorer for Mac, was then included in 10.3 as an alternative. Safari 2. In April 2005, engineer Dave Hyatt fixed several bugs in Safari. His experimental beta passed the ACID2 rendering test on April 27, 2005, marking it the first browser to do so. Safari 2.0, which was released on April 29, 2005, was the sole browser Mac OS X 10.4 offered by default. Apple tutored this version as it was capable of running a 1.8 times speed booster compared to version 1.2.4, but it did not feature the ACID2 bug fixes. These major changes were initially unavailable for end users unless they privately installed and compiled the WebKit source code or ran one of the nightly automated builds available at Open Darwin. Version 2.0.2 released on October 31, 2005 finally included the ACID2 bug fixes. In June 2005, in efforts of KHTML criticisms over the lack of access to change logs, Apple moved the development source code and bug tracking of WebCore and JavaScript Core to Open Darwin. They have also open sourced WebKit. The source, the source code is, the, is for non-renderer aspects of the web browser, such as its GUI elements and the remaining popularity. The final stable version of Safari 2 and the last version released exclusively with Mac OS X, Safari 2.0.4, was updated on January 10th, 2006 for Mac OS X. It was only available within Mac OS X Update 10.4.4 and it delivered fixes to layout and CPU usage issues among other improvements. Safari 3. On January 9th, 2007 at Macworld San Francisco, Jobs unveiled that Safari 3 was ported to the newly introduced iPhone with an iPhone OS, later called iOS. The mobile version was capable of displaying full desktop class websites. At WWDC 2007, Jobs announced Safari 3 for Mac OS X, 10.5, Windows XP, and Windows Vista. He ran a benchmark based on, I, based on the iBench browser test suite, comparing the most popular Windows browsers to the browser, and claimed that Safari had the, had the fastest performance. His claim was later examined by a third-party site called Web Performance over HTTP load times. They verified that Safari 3 was indeed the fastest browser on the Windows platform in terms of initial data loading over the internet, though it was only nudgeably faster than Internet Explorer 7 and Mozilla Firefox when it came to static content from the local catch. 
The initial Safari 3 beta version for Windows released on the same day as its announcement at WWDC 2007 contained several bugs and a zero-day exploit that allowed remote code executions. The issues were then fixed by Apple three days later on June 14, 2007 in version 3.0.1. On June 22, 2007, Apple released Safari 3.0.2 to address some bugs, performance problems, and other security issues. Safari 3.0.2 for Windows handled some fonts that were missing in the browser, but already installed on Windows computers such as Tahoma, Trobe, MS, and others. The iPhone was previously released on June 29, 2007, with a version of Safari based on the same WebKit rendering engine as the desktop version, but with a modified feature set better suited, but with a modified feature set better suited for a mobile device. The version number of Safari as reported in its user agent string is 3.0 was in line along with the contemporary desktop editions. The first stable, non-beta non -beta version of Safari for Windows, Safari 3.1, was offered as a free download on March 18, 2008. In June 2008, Apple released version 3.1.2, which addressed a security vulnerability in the Windows version where visiting a malicious website could force a download of executable files and execute them on the user's desktop. Safari 3.2, released on November 13, 2008, introduced anti-phishing features using Google Safe Browsing and Extended Validation Certificate Program Certificate Support. The final version of Safari 3 was version 3.2.3, which was released on May 12, 2009, with security improvements. Safari 4 Safari 4 was released on June 8, 2009. It was the first version that had completely passed the ACID3 render rendering test, as well as the first version to support HTML5. It incorporated WebKit JavaScript engine, Squirrelfish, that significantly enhanced the browser script interpretation performances by 29.9 times. Squirrelfish was later evolved to Squirrelfish Extreme, later also marketed as Nitro, which had 63.6 times faster performances. A public beta of Safari 4 was experimented on in February, in February 24, 2009. Safari 4 relied on CoverFlow to run the history and bookmarks, and it featured speculative loading that automatically preloaded document information that is required to visit a particular website. The top sites can be displayed up to 24 thumbnails based on the frequently visited sites in a startup. The desktop version of Safari 4 included a redesign similar to that of the iPhone. The update also commissioned many developer tool improvements including web inspectors, CSS element viewings, JavaScript debuggers and profilers, offline tables, database management, SQL support, and resource graphs. In addition to CSS retouching effects, CSS canvas, and HTML5 content. It replaced the initial Mac OS X-like interface with native Windows themes on Windows using native font renderings. Safari 4.0.1 was released for Mac on June 17, 2009, and fixed faces bugs in iPhoto 09. Safari 4 in Mac OS X version 10.6 Snow Leopard has built-in 64-bit support, which makes JavaScript load up to 50% faster. It also has native crash resistances that would maintain it intact if a plugin like Flash Player crashes, though other tabs or windows would not be affected. Safari 4.0.4, the final version which was released on November 11, 2009 for both Mac and Windows, which further improved the JavaScript performances. Safari 5 Safari 5 was released on June 7, 2010, and was the final version, version 5.1.7, for Windows. It featured a less distractive reader view, and had a 30 times faster JavaScript performances. It incorporated numerous developer tool improvements, including HTML5 interoperability and the, and the accessibility to secure extensions. The progress bar was re-added in this version as well. 
Safari 5.0.1 enabled the extension's pref pane by default, rather than requiring users to manually set it in the debug menu. Apple exclusively released Safari 4.1 con con concurrently with Safari 5 for Mac OS X Tiger. It included many features that were found in Safari 5, though it excluded the Safari Reader and Safari extensions. Apple released Safari 5.1 for both Windows and Mac on July 20th, 2011, for Mac OS X 10.7 Lion. It was faster than Safari 5.0 and included the new reading list feature. The company simultaneously announced Safari 5.0.6 in late June 2010 for Mac OS X 10.5 Leopard, though the new functions were excluded from Leopard users. Several HTML5 features were provided in Safari 5. It added supports for full screen video, closed caption, geolocation, event source, and a new obsolete early variant of the WebSocket protocol. The fifth major version of Safari added supports for full text search and a new search engine, Bing. Safari 5 supported Reader, which displays web pages in a continuous view without advertisements. Safari 5 supported a smarter address field and DNS prefetching that automatically found links and looked up addresses on the web. New web pages loaded faster using domain name system DNS prefetching. The Windows version received an extra update on graphic acceleration as well. The blue inline progress bar was returned to the address bar. In addition to the spinning bezel and loading indicator introduced in Safari 4, Top Sites version Top Sites View now had a button to switch to full history search. Other features included Extension Builder for developers on Safari extensions. Other changes included an improved inspector. Safari 5 supports extensions, add-ons that customize the web browsing experience. Extensions are built using web standards such as HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. Safari 6 Safari 6.0 was previously referred to as Safari 5.2 until Apple changed the version number at WWDC 2012. The stable release of Safari 6 coincided with the release of OS X Mountain Lion on July 25, 2012 and was, in was integrated within OS X. As a result, it was no longer available for download from Apple's website or any other sources. Apple released Safari 6 via software update for users of OS X Lion. It was not released for OS X versions before Lion or, or for Windows. The company later quietly removed references and links for the, ver for the Windows version of Safari 5. Microsoft had also removed Safari from its browser choice page. On June 11, 2012, Apple released a developer preview of Safari 6.0 with a feature called iCloud called iCloud Tabs, which syncs with an, which syncs with open which syncs with open tabs on any iOS or other OS X device that ran the latest software. It updated new privacy features, including an ask websites not to track me preference for the ability for websites to send OS X 10.8 Mountain Lion users notifications, though it removed RSS support. Safari 6 had the share sheets capability in OS X Mountain Lion. The share sheet options were add to reading list, add bookmark, email this page, message, Twitter, and Facebook. Tabs with full page previews were added too. The sixth major version of Safari, it added options to allow pages to be shared with other users via email, messages, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as making some minor performance improvements. It adds supports for WebKit Calc in CSS. Additionally, various features were removed including Activity Window, a, a separate download window, direct support for RSS feeds in the UR in the addition Additionally, various features were removed including Activity Window, a separate download window, direct support for RSS feeds in the URL field, and bookmarks. A separate search field and, ad and the address bar were also no longer configuration option. Instead, it was replaced by the smart search field, a combination of the address bar and the search field, Safari 7. Safari 7 was announced at WWDC 2013, and it was bought by a number of 
JavaScript performance improvements. It made uses of topside and sidebar shared links, and PowerSaver, which paused unused plugins. Safari 7 for OSX Mavericks and Safari 6.1 for Lion and Mountain Lion were also were all released along with OSX Mavericks in the special event on October 22, 2013, Safari 8. Safari 8 was announced at WWDC 2014 and was released for OSX and was released for OSX Yosemite. It included the JavaScript API WebGL stronger privacy management, included improved iCloud integration a redesigned interface. It was also faster than it was also faster and more efficient with additional developer features including JavaScript promises, CSS shapes, and composting markup, indexed DB, encrypted media extensions, and SPDY protocol. Safari 9. Safari 9 was announced in WWDC 2015 and was shipped with OSXL Captain. New features included auto-muting, more options for Safari Reader, and improved autofill. It was not fully available for the previous OSX. It was not fully available for the previous OSX Yosemite. Safari 10. Safari 10 was shipped with Mac OS with Mac OS Sierra and released for OSX for OSX Yosemite and OSX El Captain on September 20th, 2016. It had a redesigned bookmark and history views, and double clicking will centralize and double clicking will centralize focus on a particular folder. The update redirected Safari extensions to be saved directly to Pocket and DIC Go. Software improvements included autofill quality from the contrast card and web inspector timelines tab into the inline sub headline, inline sub headlines, bylines, and publish dates. This version tracks the reapply zoomed levels to websites and legacy plugins were disabled by default in favor of HTML5 versions of websites. Recently closed tabs can be reopened via the history menu or by holding the plus button on the tab bar and using shift command T. When a link opens a new tab, it is now possible to hit that it is now possible to hit the back button or swipe to close it and to go back to the original tab. Debugging is now supported on the web inspector. Safari 10 also includes several security updates, including fixes for six WebKit vulnerabilities and issues related to reader and tabs. The first version of Safari 10 was released on September 20th, 2016, and the last and the last version, 10.1 was released on July 19, 2017. Safari 11. Safari 11 was released on September 19, 2017 for OS XML Captain and Mac OS Sierra, ahead of Mac OS High Sierra's release. It was included with High Sierra. Safari 11 included several new features such as intelligent tracking pro prevention, which aimed to prevent cross-site tracking by placing limitations on cookies and other website data. Intelligent tracking prevention allowed first-party cookies to continue track to continue track the browser's history, though with the limit with though with time limits. For example, first-party cookies from ad tech companies such as Google slash Alphabet Incorporated were set to expire in 24 hours after the visit. Safari 12. Safari 12 was released from Mac OS Mojav on September 24, 2018. It was also available to Mac OS Sierra and Mac OS High Sierra on September 17, 2018. Safari 12 included several new features such as icons and tabs, automatic strong passwords, and intelligent tracking prevention 2.0. Safari version 12.0.1 was released on October 30, 2018 within Mac OS Mojave 10.14.1 and Safari 12.0.2 was released on December 5, 2018 under Mac OS 10.14.2. Support for developers signed classic Safari extensions has been dropped. This version would also be the last supported the official the official extensions gallery. Apple also encouraged extend Apple also encouraged encouraged extension authors to switch to, to Safari app extensions, which triggered negative feedback from the community. Safari 13. 
Safari 13 was announced at WWDC 2019 on June 3rd, 2019. Safari 13 included several new features such as prompt Safari 13 included several new features such as prompting users to change weak passwords, FID02 USB security key authentication support, sign in with Apple support, Apple Pay on the web support, and increased speed and security. Safari 13 was released on September 20th, 2019 on Mac OS Mojav and Mac OS High Sierra and later shipped with Mac OS Catalina. Safari 14. In June 2020, it was announced that Mac OS Big Sur will include Safari 14. According to Apple, Safari 14 is more than 50% faster than Google Chrome. Safari 14 introduced new privacy features including Privacy Report, which shows blocked content and privacy information on web pages. Users will also receive a monthly report on trackers that Safari has blocked. Extensions can also be enabled for disabled on a site-by-site -site bias. Safari 14 introduced partial support for the web extension API used in Google Chrome. Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and Opera, making it easier for developers to port their extensions from those web browsers to Safari. Support for Adobe Flash Player will also be dropped from Safari 3 three months. Uh, support for Adobe Flash Player will also be dropped from Safari three months ahead of its end of life. A built-in translation service allows translation of a page to another language. Safari 14 was released as a standalone update to the, to the Mac OS Catalina and Mojave users on September 16, 2020. It added Ecosia as a supported search engine. Safari 15. Safari 15 was released for iOS 15, iPad OS 15, Mac OS Big Sur, and Mac OS Catalina on September 20, 2021, and later shipped with Mac OS Monitor Monterey. It featured a redesigned interface and tab groups that blended better into the background. There are also a new homepage and extension supports on the iOS and iPad OS editions. Starting this update, Safari versions would support iOS and iPad OS, ending the iOS version of separate updates. Safari 16. Safari 16 was released for iOS 16, Mac OS, Mon Monterey, and Mac OS Big Sur on September 12, 2022, and later shipped with Mac OS Ventura and iPad OS 16. Safari 16 added support for non animated AVIF and contains several bug fixes and feature polishing. Safari 16 also includes shared tab groups, vertical tab support, website settings, synchronization between devices connected to the same iCloud account, the ability to add backgrounds for a start page, a new new languages for built-in translation, built-in image translation, and new options to edit strong passwords. iOS 16.4 also introduced web push notifications. Safari 17. Safari 17 was released in September 2023 with, I with iOS 17, iPad OS 17, and Mac OS Sonoma. It includes a feature named Profiles, which allows users to separate their browsing his their browsing sessions for different use cases. Every profile has, has a special favorites bar, navigation history, extensions, tab groups, and cookies. Just like iOS 16.4, Safari 17 introduces web apps that can be added to the dock. Cookies are copied into web apps so that, so that users stay logged in in the web app if they are already are, if they already are in Safari. Safari can also now read pages with a new option in the navigation bar menu. New privacy features included include locked private browsing when not in use, track, tracking free URLs, private relay based on the country's location, and time instead of general position. Safari has also been adapted to Vision Pro with a new spatial UI and Apple has redesigned the develop menu for web, devel for web developers. Safari 17 added AV1 hardware decoding support for devices with hardware decoding support. iOS versions. Starting iOS 15 and iPad OS 15, Safari would now ship the same features to the Mac OS version which also included the name of the updates ending the separate iOS version.
We are now going to be doing a quick little uh, list of the features that every iOS version included, going from version to new features. iOS specific features. Bookmarking links to particular pages and web clip icons on the home screen. MDI style browsing. Opening specially designed pages in full screen mode. Pressing an image for three seconds to save it to the photo album. Support for the HTML5 new input types. Only the domain name is shown in the address bar if not focused upon or not actuated. iOS 4. iOS 4.2. Find feature built into the search box. Ability to print the current web page using AirPrint. iOS 4.3. Integration of the Nitro JavaScript engine for faster page loads. This feature was expanded to home screen web applications in iOS 5.0. iOS 5. True tab browsing similar to the desktop experience only for iPads. Reading list, a bookmarking feature that allows tagging of certain sites for reading later, which syncs across all Safari browsers, mobile and desktop via Apple's iCloud service. Reader, a reading feature that can format text that can, fa that can format t text and images from a web page into a more readable format, similar to a PDF document, while stripping out web advertising and superfluous infor information. Private browsing. Like in most desktop browsers, it is a feature that does not that does not save the user's cookies and history or allow anything to be written in local storage or web SQL databases. iOS 6. iCloud tabs linking the desktop and iOS versions of Safari. Offline reading lists allow users to read pages stored previously without renaming connected to the internet. Full screen landscape view for iPhone and iPod touch users hides most of the Safari controls except for except the back and forward buttons and the status bar when in landscape mode. iOS 7. New icon. 64-bit build on, suit on supported devices using the A7, pro pre A7 processor. iCloud keychain. iCloud can remember passwords, account names, and credit card numbers. Safari can also autofill them as well. Requires devices to run that run iOS 7.0.3 and later, and later, and OS X Mavericks or later. Password generator. When creating a new Safari account, when creating a new, when creating a new account, Safari can suggest that user a long, more secure, hard to guess password, and Safari will also automatically remember the password. Shared link. Shared links. Do not track. Parental controls. Tab limit increased from 9 to 36. New tab view for iPhone and iPod Touch only. Unified smart search field. Sync bookmarks with Google Chrome and Firefox on Windows. iOS 8. A search function to search through all open tabs has been added to in tab view on iPad and select iPhones. Two finger pinch to reveal tab view on iPads and select iPhones. New sidebar that slides out to reveal bookmarks, reading list, and shared links on iPads and select iPhones in landscape view. Address bar now hides when scrolling down on iPads. Spotlight search is now available from Safari's address bar. Option to scan credit card when filling out credit card info on a web form. WebGL support. APNNG support. Private browsing per tab. RSS feeds in shared links. DuckDuckGo support. Option to request a desktop site while entering a web address. Option to add a website to favorites while entering a web address. Swipe to close iCloud tabs from other devices. Hold the plus new tab button in tab view to list recently closed tabs is now available on iPhone. Can delete individual items from history. Safari now blocks ads from automatically redirecting to the App Store without user interaction. Bookmark icon updated. Improved iPad-like interface available on select iPhones in landscape view. iOS 9. The option to add content blocking extensions is available to block specific web content. Apps can use Safari's Apps can use Safari's view controller to display web content from within the app, sharing cookies and other website data with Safari. Improved reader view, allowing the user to choose from direct fonts and themes, as well as hiding the controls. iOS 10. Apple Pay in Safari. View two pages at once using split view in Safari on iPad. iOS 11. More rounded search bar. Redesigned video player. Modified scrolling speed and momentum. iOS 12. Support for stronger password suggestion. Support for autofill from a third-party provider.
Third party can suggest a strong password. Autofill of 2FA code sent by email. Full screen support. Full screen support. iOS 13. Desktop browsing mode can be enabled by default. Revamped start page. Website preferences, privacy, etc. Page zoom up to 300%. Read view can be enabled by default. Toggle content blockers for all websites. Permission access pop up asking for permission to use camera audio and location data. Image resizing. Save open tabs as bookmarks. Open tabs from search. Automatically close tabs after a set period of time. Redesign share sheet. Apple ID sign in to third party sites. Weak password warning. Improved decryption. Next level anti fingerprinting protections. Download manager icon. iOS 14. Faster support, faster JavaScript engine support. Built in translation option. Password monitoring. Password alerts. Privacy and data tracking report. Picture in picture mode. Website launch from search. Sign in with Apple ID on many third party websites. Tracking permission. Safari technology preview. Safari Technology Preview was released alongside OSX El Captain 10.11.4. Safari Technology Preview releases includes the latest version of WebKit, which included web technologies and the future stable releases of Safari so that developers and users can install the Technology Preview release on a Mac, test those features, and provide feedback. Safari Developer Program Safari Developer Program was a program dedicated to its in-browser to, to in extension and HTML developers that allowed members to write and distribute extensions for Safari through the Safari Extensions Gallery. It was initially free until it was incorporated to, into the Apple Developer Program in WWDC 2015, which costs $99 a year. The charges prompted frustrations from developers. Within OS X L Captain, Apple implemented the secure extension distribution to further improve the, its security, and it automatically updated all its extensions with the Safari Extensions Gallery. Version compatibility. We are once again be, we are once again going to be doing the same thing that we did before, but only this time this is going to be from operating system to operating system version, latest Safari version to support to support Mac OS. Mac OS X J. Max OS X 10.2 Jaguar 1.0.3 August 13th 2004 2003 to 2004 Mac OS X 10.3 Panther 1.3.2 January 11th 2006 2003 to 2006 Mac OS X 10.4 Tiger 4.1.3 November 18th 2010 2005 to 2010 Mac OS X 10.5 Leopard 5.0.6 July 20th, 2011, 2007 to 2011. Mac OS X 10.6 No Leopard. 5.1.10 September 12th, 2013, 2009 to 2013. Mac OS X 10.7 Lion. 6.1.6 6, August 13th, 2014, 2011 to 2014. OS X 10.8 Mountain Lion. 6.2.8 August 13th, 2015, 2012 to 2015. OS X 10.9 Mavericks, 9.1.3 September 1st, 2016, 2013 to 2016, OS X 10.10 .10 Yosemite, 10.1.2 July 19th, 2017, 2014 to 2017, OS X 10.11 10 El Captain, 11.1.2 July 9th, 2018, 2015 to 2018, Mac OS 10.12 Sierra, 12.1.2 July 22nd, 2019, 2016 to 2019, Mac OS 10.3 High Sierra, 13.1.2 July 15th, 2020, 2017 to 2020, Mac OS 10.4 Mojave, 14.1.2 September 13th, 2021, 2018 to 2021, Mac OS 10.15 Catalina, 15.6.1 August 18th, 2020, August 18th, 2022. 2019 to 2022, Mac OS 11 Big Sur, 16.6.1 September 21st, 2023, 2020 to 2023, Mac OS 12 Monterey, 17.5 May 13th, 2024, since 2023, Mac OS 13 Ventura, 17.5 May 13th, 2024, since 20, since since 2023, Mac OS 14 Sonoma. 17.5 May 13th, 2024. Since 2023, Microsoft.
Microsoft Windows, Windows 2000, 3.1.2, June 19, 2008. Unofficial. Windows XP RTM SP1, 4.0.3, August 11, 2009. 2007 to 2009. Windows XP SP2 SP3, 5.1.7, May 9, 2012. 2007 to 2012. Windows Vista, 5.1.7, May 9, 2012. Windows 7, 5.1.7, May 9, 2012. 2009 to 2012. Windows 8, 5.1.7, May 9, 2012. Unofficial. Windows 10, 5.1.7, May 9, 2012. Unofficial. Windows 11, 5.1.7, May 9th, 2012. Unofficial. And there's the history of Safari. How did it become so popular? Well, with Safari being the most default, well, with, with Safari being um, the default browser that you get with any um, Apple products, including uh, Macs and uh, iPads, iPhones, and iPods, that's how it became very popular. But anyways, with all that being said, I think that I'm going to end off this video. If you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the every day. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my other two channels as well. Exotic uh, and uh, walkthroughs where I do Let's Plays and Dance Plays, which is my other channel where I upload the RMVs uh, with the swearing in it. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!